Pina, and we are off to the races. Beyonce B with the ball, the flip to the left to Villa, one of the players who has really stepped up in the absence of Ledger Walker, and she's able to bink in that shot as the Cougars strike first. Taylor has the ball poked away, Wallach gets it, Cougars with the steal. Three on one fast break, over to Wallach, laying high off the backboard, and Steven, this has been a hot start for Washington State. Eleonora Villa works it over to his right. Tuhina makes the extra pass. It's Villa, three, and she drains it. The early lead continues to expand here for the Cougars. Wallach to the lane, a little too strong, no good. On the offensive glass, it's Colville, and there she's able to clean up with the second chance point. And Washington State, Stephen, I'm not sure if you could ask for a better start if you're the Cougars. The Cougars are being the, the more aggressive team, trying to get the ball to the rim. And when things don't work out, you have Colville who's working her way in on the backside to get those second chance opportunities, and that's a way to get extra points. Coming out of the gate, hot here in the opening round of the WBIT Washington State, number one seed, playing at home against the number eight seed, Lamar. And Washington State looking very comfortable on their home court here at Beasley Coliseum. On the offensive glass, Davis, the putback denied Washington State has been very good at swatting shots as Alex Colville, 51 blocks this year. That's her 52nd of the season, and that's just a freshman. So that is a strength. Washington State 14th in the nation as a team when it comes to blocks per game. There's a three. It is Villa who strikes again and make it a double-digit lead now for Washington State. Maricatete making it tough to get a clean shot off. She can't get a good look. No look pass into the corner. Here's a long three. Jenna Villa swishes it. The freshman from Arlington, Washington, the 2023 Washington Gatorade High School Player of the Year. Here at Gardner with his her first action of the game. Here's the dish down low, and it's Jessica Clark. On both sides, but Lamar's been able to capitalize 12 points off the of turnovers to WSU's only two points as we see Gardner launch a three from the corner and connect. And Gardner, the sophomore, makes her 18th three-pointer of the year. As we see Wallach attack again. Good ball, Min. Here's a three-pointer, and it's good. Astera Tuhina makes the three. Another three minutes to play here in the first half. Gardner rises up, the jumper from the charity stripe right on target. Beyond speed. Over to Gardner, we'll take another three. Rattles around, and it drops. Kira Gardner averages three points per game. Basket no good. Ricatente with the rebound. Good pass in transition. Eleanor Avila has a rest off the front of the iron and take a Cougar roll. Seems like every time Washington State needs the answer, Villa is the answer for this Cougar team and has done a good job. Tahina, nice little one foot floater there. Mar has pulled within four. This is as tight as the game has been since it was six to two. WSU is led by as many as 14. Jenna Villa looking to respond from beyond the arc, she does! Jenna Villa, a clutch three for the Cougars. Scratch and claw battle for every made basket in this game. Here's Denley, shot blocked. And ball knocked away for a moment in the backcourt, but Villa able to hang on to it. Cross court dish, extra pass made. Three from the corner, it's good! Wallach from beyond the arc, and another timely three by Washington State. It starts on the defensive end for Washington State. Mercatete does a good job of getting the shot block, and it leads to the transition opportunities that the Cougars need to continue to take advantage of. Little more breathing room for Washington State. Here's Dean, the long two shot, altered if not blocked by Wallach, and here's the steal. McQueen, her fourth of the game, tries for the quick strike lay and it's no good. Four steals for McQueen. WSU with numbers, same spot. Wallach for three again, she's got it! Oh, that's Wallach's sweet spot in the corner. A couple of enormous threes for Wallach as we take a look on the replay. The ball movement sets it all up. Exactly, it's exactly right, Chris. It's the ball movement. It's the defensive effort that's leading to these transition opportunities. Every time Washington State's been able to get a stop, they've been able to capitalize. For Washington State, we've seen Lamar hang around. They've not led in this game. Washington State has had the lead by as many as 14. In the second half, Lamar has tightened it up to as close as a four-point game, but the Cougars feed Murakatete near the basket. 
Another stat that jumps off is Washington State's 10 for 10 from the free throw line. As we see Villa with a nice back cut. But 10 for 10 from the free throw line. Pressure has had some impact in this game from the Lamar defense, but WSU gets it across the timeline. Good pass under the basket. It's Eleonora Villa finding Murakatete. And Acacia Davis, 10 points, nine rebounds. And Denley's had to step up because of, you know, the scoring absence of Dean. Murakatete contorts her body in traffic. Oh, not an easy lay-in to make, and somehow one fluid motion makes the lay-in. Three minutes left to play. Eleonora Villa, Stephen, when you look at the numbers, she's really filling up the stat sheet. Wallach for three. She's got it! Oh, boy, for Washington State, that might just put this lead out of reach for Lamar. Their next matchup will be here in Pullman. Nothing like being able to sleep in your own bed, staying at home, and there's a pass to Jessica Clark, the senior from North Vancouver, the Canada native, making a basket there, a chance to dribble it out. The fans on their feet, and that will do it. The final here from Beasley Coliseum in Pullman. Washington State defeats Lamar 66-46. to The season continues for Washington State as they move on to the second round of the WBIT as what an impressive campaign for Lamar comes to an end. Steven, we think about this game. It was a 14-2 run for Washington State out of the gate. They never trailed, and they were able to come away with a uh, what was maybe not their cleanest game, but a complete victory for them. 